Hello there, Pisces, it's your turn. It's Michelle B. I've got a weekly reading for you, weekly messages, what you need to know, messages from the tarot. Let's see. Mercury retrograde is starting to kick off. Yes. We're in the shadow period now. So things are a little topsy turvy. Now you now P Pisces you being mutable uh, just like Gemini. I think it's really affecting you because you like you you get a lot of grounding from the season that you're in. You feel, you feel it. You're more empathic, you're more sensitive to the season that you're in, the energies of the season. And so it's for me being like my rising is Pisces and my sun sign is Virgo, so I'm very mutable, very sensitive to the energies going on around me. Like, the day that things shifted and Mercury started to slow down, I was like, whoa, I felt it. Like, where am I going? I don't know. What's what's gonna go on? Like the energy started swirling and I was like, whoa. Let's pull three cards to find out what you need to know how to how to cope with that this week, okay? Mm-hmm. You got the fool. That that represents you not being in your element, feeling like you're feeling like you're on your own because it's in reverse. You're feeling like you're on your own. Like nobody's really looking out for you. And that sucks. Why is the moon here? The moon was in your monthly reading. Make sure and check that out. See if that's meaningful to you. We also had the Ace of Pentacles. So it's a special message for you to check out your monthly reading that's on my channel. But also, like, okay. Page of Pentacles being the middle. Like, I got stuff to do. And why do I, why is everything so topsy turvy and I don't feel like I'm getting any traction? And also there's these decisions that you're having to make and you don't like to have to make decisions. Why is that ace? Why is that? Um, the page of pentacles was also in the Virgo reading. That's the other side of the axis for you. So it's like, I need to be productive. This energy, this feeling like you need to be productive, but it's not going to happen and it's not going to serve you to just like be trying to make it happen. So here's a, here's a message that I felt coming in. Look at this. This cup and this cup, they're the same thing. This is your offering. You've been asking, you've been asking for a connection, to be able to have a connection with a really excellent lifestyle and that includes being able to take a break chill out soak in the bathtub hang out with your friends behave in a leisurely manner and not always feel like you're on someone else's someone else's clock and i feel like you've been doing a lot lately you've been working 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 and there's not been a whole lot of time for you and it seemed like you were going, so, like it, all of your work was heading somewhere, and then all of a sudden, just like this week, things are like stopped. Everything stopped, and like the energy is. And you're like, which way do I go? Which way do I go? Right? This is the card of which way do I go? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> okay. There was a point to all of that work that you were doing. And the point was that you were working toward having a better lifestyle, having a certain quality of life. And you were like, in order to have the certain quality of life, I need to be doing this, I need to be doing this. Wonderful thing about Mercury retrograde is it, ma it makes us stop and assess what we've been doing and whether or not it's been working. This is a huge download for me too. I really appreciate it. So like I'm stopping and I'm looking, I'm looking at what I was doing and I was like, I was working really, really hard. I was doing a lot of stuff. Is that me? That's not what I intended. The reason that I got into this work was so that I wouldn't have to work really, really hard. I could work in tune with, I would work hard if I wanted to, if I was excited about something, but otherwise when, I, as soon as I felt like I need a break, I wanted to be able to do that. So you're like, the universe is like, I'm, you're like, where do I go? What do I do? It's like, the universe is like, didn't you, didn't you ask me for something? Isn't there something that you asked me for? Oh yeah. I asked to be able to kick it on the beach, soak in the bath, 
hang out with my sweetheart. I, I asked to be able to live a really excellent quality of life. And now I'm being granted the opportunity because it's not efficient right now to be doing steady work in what I'm doing right now. I have to kick back. Everybody's taking a notch back. It happens for a couple weeks every three months. So why not enjoy it? <laughs> why not embrace it? Why not live it up? Let yourself have a break. And I bet you if you, if you made a commitment to not doing any extra work, of course, like don't quit your job and stuff like that. But if you made a commitment to not doing a bunch of extra shit for like three days, by the end of the third day, you're actually going, your energy is going to pick up in a positive way. And you're going to start feeling some serious direction. Okay. You're going to start feeling like, okay, okay, I know where I'm going now. You're going to feel like, okay, I, I feel rested. I feel ready to get back to the things I was doing. If you just give yourself a break, you're going to feel, and it's not going to be full steam the way it was before for a few weeks, but you could still get, you know, have, you can create a plan. This is what I'm going to be doing for the next couple of weeks. And it's okay for me to go slow during that time. Okay. The next few weeks, when it comes to the, the basics that you need to, to live, like showing up at your job, making sure your kids are taken care of, you know, all the responsibilities are taken care of. It's all about just putting on your blinders and just doing that. And otherwise, chilling. Make sure you got your Netflix set up. <laughs> make sure you got make sure you got a nice place to, to kick it outside in the fresh air and in nature all right it's all about putting it in neutral and chilling let's do that that's what you asked for and that's what the universe is giving you it's a perfect time so yay it's a gift this time is a gift for you Pisces you asked for it let's bring it all together mm. So what we're going to do is a little blessing meditation, but we're going to ground ourselves first. And we're going to inhale love from the universe. The universe loves us so much and we just have to accept it. Accept the cup of love, my dear. Accept it into our bodies. We're going to inhale love for four seconds. And as we're inhaling, we're going to imagine pushing the energy of the universe, the love of the universe, all the way down to our root chakra, which is the place where our backsides touch the surface that we're sitting on and as we exhale we're going to bring up all the anxiety fear worry and we're going to imagine that it's going out our root out our crown chakra and into the universe and the universe is taking it away because it the universe does not want us to, to harbor those kinds of energies it wants to take it from us the universe loves us so much so let's do that three times ready inhale love Exhale, fear. Inhale, love. More diamonds. Exhale, fear. It's my little boy. <laughs> Inhale, love. Exhale, fear. Oh, that was really good. Thank you so much, universe, for the blessings that you've given me. Thank you so much, spirit. Thank you so much, God, for everything that I've been given. Right now, I am safe. Right now, I may enjoy the fruits of all of the labor that I've put in for three months. I love that. I love that that I have worked so hard, I have done so much for the last three months, and now, for just a couple weeks, I can enjoy everything that I've done. There will be plenty of time to work hard and run forward very soon, but right now, right now I am safe, and right now I enjoy this moment. Hold on to that space. Come back to it whenever you start to lose it, okay? Whenever you start to feel worried, inhale love and exhale that fear away. You may enjoy this time. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so you can be in the loop about the readings that I give you every week, okay? Thank you, Pisces, for being here with me. I'll see you later.